Hello Capricorn, this is your reading for June. This reading is for Capricorn with placements in the Sun, Moon, and Rising, <coughs> Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see, what messages do we get for Capricorn? Please show me messages for Capricorn. That will want to come out. Judgment. Got a hefty decision to make. Or either you guys have made a very hard decision. And I feel that um, always with judgment <clears throat> comes longevity. Because after judgment is the world. After the world, you're starting all over again. So with that being said, whatever decision it is that, that you're trying to come to or that you've made is going to have long-term consequences before it actually comes back around again. If there's something that you want to change about it or if you want to do something different. Okay, so that is Scorpio energy there. There has been an ending, but somebody wants a rebirth as well. So let's see what else we get. What's challenging? Capricorn. Oh, the chariot. Chariot is all about a success story. But the chariot is number seven. And the number seven, for me, is always representative of the self. How can you be successful? What can you do for yourself that's going to bring you happiness? This is also Cancer's car. You have two majors right now. So there is a really hefty decision that some of you have either made or you need to make. But make sure that it's beneficial for you. So if you are not sure about what it is that you want, I wouldn't just, just spurt it out. Okay? Make sure that whatever you do is beneficial to you. If it's a relationship, which that is what it looks like. Okay. If it's a relationship that you want, that you want to bring back to life, that you want to um, change, start over, make sure it's something that is beneficial to you. I cannot say it enough. If it's something that you're deciding to let go, make sure it's beneficial for you. I just want to put that out there and be clear about that because whatever decision it is that you have made or need to make is going to have long-term consequences. Okay. What is the underlying issue here for Capricorn? Okay, cards are jumping out. Expressing yourself. Expressing yourself and doing things that you like. Um, doing things that make you happy. Feeling good about it. Okay. Putting yourself first, your feelings at the forefront. I don't feel like you've been doing that. You need to express what it is that you want. And go for it. Okay. What was going on in the recent past for Capricorn? Recent past. Temperance. Look at all these majors right here. In the recent past, you've come to grips with something. I feel like you're at a place where um, you're wanting to compromise and you're, you're trying to see things from the other person's perspective. Right now, you want serenity. Okay. Um, I do feel like regardless if you want the serenity, you know that you have to step out and do what it is that you want to do not what somebody else wants you to do do what you want to do okay crowning thoughts for Capricorn ten of wands oh this is weighing heavy on you it's weighing heavy on you because I get that you're used to taking care of other people and neglecting yourself so to speak Okay, um, so to speak, <laughs> not so to speak, but you're used to putting other people before you, their feelings. 
but I feel like you guys are tired um, and you want to put that burden down and not feel guilty about doing things that you like to do and for yourself. We have Sagittarius energy here. I feel like that's your energy for sure. What's coming in for Capricorn? What's coming in? What's coming in for Capricorn? Three of Cups, having a good time. Being with friends and family. Going out. Hanging out. This is what's coming in for you, this Cancer energy. I feel like you guys are going out on dates. Um, I feel that you are really trying to like take somebody else's emotions and consideration into consideration, but you also want to be able to express yourself freely. That's what's coming in. How is Capricorn viewing this situation? The Hierophant. You know that you're in control. You know that you have the last say so. I think a lot of times you allow people to feel like they're in control um, because control doesn't mean that much to you. But when it's time to put your foot down, you put your foot down. And I think you're at the point where you're ready to let somebody know exactly where you stand, exactly what you believe, and exactly what you will and what you won't do in a nice way. Okay, it's Taurus energy there. Some of you are ready to like tie the knot as well. Some of you are already married. And if you're not already married, some of you feel like you are, you know, because relationships are just basically a preface for marriage without the paper. So the legalities of it all. What is the influence here for Capricorn? The tower. Because what's been going on has not been working for you. It has not. Um, I do feel like some of you have broken up and are trying to get back together. That is what you are trying to decide upon. Uh, some of you have been in these relationships where you were giving way too much of yourself and basically, you know, just making sure everybody else was good and disregarding yourself. So I think you know that that can't continue to happen. And if it does continue to happen, I do see that you guys are ready to call it quits. Some of you. Some of you are ready to call it quits. Some of you, some of, some of you, my God, some of you are trying to um, mend or fix what you feel like is broken or has been neglected in the relationship. Some of you are engaged, right? But there's definitely something that needs to be fixed in order for you to uh, tie the knot with this person. So, yeah, Scorpio energy. We have Scorpio here and here. I feel like there's a strong Scorpio energy here. Uh, Sagittarius here. Cancer. <clears throat> Hopes or fears. Hopes or fears for Capricorn. Hopes or fears. Hopes or fears. Devil. Hmm. That is your card. The devil energy. The devil energy is all about um, codependency, temptations, um, vices. You're hoping that what has happened between the two of you has not completely destroyed the relationship here. Devil's looking right down at the tower. You're hoping that um, there's there's no sabotage on the other person's part, that this can be brought back together. Another part of you is, is hoping that 
um, you can't put this back together. And I feel like you're working so hard to put some put this relationship back together, get it back on the right footing. What is the overall outcome here? What's the overall outcome here for Capricorn? And the High Priestess, a lot of um, majors in your reading. Hmm. High Priestess is quiet, does not share, does not share her thoughts. She thinks about what it is that, that she needs to do and she just does it. She doesn't really consult with anybody about anything. Um, she looks inside, she, she looks to her intuition in order to make a decision about things. So I see you just kind of being in your head and really trying to figure things out. I do feel that um, some of you are afraid that you may lose your temper with someone and that you will not be um, the calm, cool, and collected Capricorn. Because I get that there, there's something going on here. And I feel like it's some anger, some anger issues or some things like really frustrating you to the point where you're dwelling on it. And you're thinking about it. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven majors so there's a lot of energy that's going on um, around you that you cannot change this is exterior to you but all of these different things are going on to try to get you to take notice of what it is that you should be doing so pay attention to the signs I would say because there's definitely um, cautionary signs I feel going on, whether it's numbers, um, whether it's names, something, some kind of synchronicity I feel is taking place right now. And I feel like um, somebody's very troubled right now. All right, guys, so this is Piscean energy. I do feel like Gemini is, is here as well, but... Um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon.